Door Institutes at Peking University and Johns Hopkins University co-lead what we call the Pacific Community Initiative. It was inspired by Dr. Henry Kissinger and envisages a common enterprise that seeks to generate the necessary conditions. Why have you chosen of all projects you could invest in to commit yourselves to this particular endeavor? Uh, since uh, 2016, my colleagues and I have been encouraged by Mr. C. H. Tong to conduct a research project with Mike Lampton and people uh, on the American side, uh, especially a few younger American scholars based on a strategic vision to build up a Pacific community. I think there are two ways to look at the issue. One argument might be that no regional community could be achievable unless and until China and the United States mitigate their bilateral tensions. I think another conceptual way to look at it is when the United States and China have their own difficulties. Uh, these difficulties often show up around the periphery of China. And so I think the idea of building a community and particularly the the other nations, particularly in Southeast Asia, they really do not want to see conflict between the United States and China. And I don't want to say the rest of Asia should be a marriage counselor for the US and China, but in a sense, that's kind of what I mean. Do you see the Pacific Community Initiative taking in more countries? Could this take the form, for example, of a membership club of nations. When we talk about uh, the Asia-Pacific region on the American terms now, the Indo-Pacific region, we don't even know which countries are involved, not like Europe. In Europe, you have a more or less clear uh, distinction between European countries and non-European countries. But in Asia, we have India, we have even Australia, we have Canada, uh, bordering uh, the Pacific Ocean. So one thing we have to think about is what is Asia, what is Pacific, not what is Asia Pacific or Indo-Pacific. Climate change has been earmarked as an area of strong interest that could rescue and return it. Will this method though of pragmatic cooperation be close enough to what people like Dr. Henry Kissinger conceptualized where strategic unease is replaced by the elaboration of shared purposes? I think the, the fact that the United States has uh, designated uh, former Secretary of State John Kerry uh, is a very credible move. He's both interested in the topic and knows all the players. And frankly, I, I don't know exactly the lineup on the Chinese side, but Xi Jinping has been a longtime climate leader uh, for the Chinese government. And I think he enjoys confidence. In China, there has not been in and adequate public attention to this issue. Uh, so uh, China has uh, seized time to formulate an open plan for peaking carbon dioxide emissions before 2030. And this is a very bold plan. But if we look at society at large, we still have to do a lot more to look at the situation. And on top of climate change, we have other environmental issues to think about.